Hi Libra and welcome to your tarot love readings. The reading here is going to center on what should your next move be here. Um, as always, this message is a general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address below the video here. So the reading here is intended for Libra Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. So we want to know what should your next move be? What advice does Tarot have for you here with regards to love or romance? Okay, we've got the King of Cups, the Seven of Wands here. The Five of Swords and the Lovers card. Okay, the King of Cups here, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. The King of Cups is the most um, emotionally intelligent and emotionally mature character out of the tower. Um, out of the tarot, sorry, deck here. He's someone who I feel like, you know, he has that maturity, that emotional maturity and that emotional intelligence to navigate emotional territories. For some of you here, you may find yourself a little bit emotionally overwhelmed or, um, with regards to a certain situation here. I feel like the King of Cups here is advising for you to stabilize your emotions here. Remain in control because some of you, your... Um, it's, I feel like your emotions here may be running rampant or they may be overwhelming you. And in result, and as a result, it feels like you may be losing control over a situation or you're losing control over your emotions. It's very important for you to maintain that sense of control over your emotions, which will see you maintain a sense of control over the raw situation. So, you know, if your emotions are sort of um, flooding you, and overwhelming you it's very important for you to take a step back take a deep breath here and compose yourself okay enter into uh, the king of cups kind of energy where he's cool he's calm he's collected um, and he's in control of his emotions for others of you libra here there could be someone around you like a king of cups kind of energy someone older than yourself someone who i feel like um, maybe a bit of a mentor um, someone who has like a guidance here or who has been a bit of a shining light in your life um, this person's energy feels very controlled and balanced. I feel like your next move should be probably before you make any drastic moves or measures here. Um, it would be a wise decision or a wise move to go to them and seek some advice or seek some counsel because I feel like this is someone who has been some shining light in your life or this is someone who has um, always you know, made sure that your emotions here is in check here as well. And... Um, For others of you, I feel like yeah, you some of you, you could be like losing touch with your emotions. So it's very important for you to check in with your heart here. Um, so check in with your heart here. Seek to understand how it is you that you're feeling, or also seek to understand how it is that your romantic energy might be feeling as well here. There are two sides to every story. Okay, yours isn't the only side. You also need to consider their side here. Now, with the seven of wands here, I'm getting that some of you feel um, some of you feel as though you might be fighting a losing battle here. There's a need for you to maybe put up boundaries here. You may feel as though you're attacked. If so, don't feel like you have to accept, you know, someone's opinions or someone's um, comments of you as truth here. Okay, um, do you here with the Seven of Wands? I'm seeing for some of you, you need to, there could be like a sense of jealousy around you here, Libra. And I feel like it's very important for you to sort of, um, don't sink to any low vibes or any negative um, levels here that others may be pushing towards you. Stay synchronized and stay in touch with your emotions and your vision here. Um, and like draw on your positive energy and draw on your um, on your uh, vision and your um, and your intentions here some of you I did mention I feel like there's a need for you to uh, set up some boundaries here between it could be you and a certain individual or it could be you and um, a few other individuals here 
because I feel like someone here may be overstepping your boundaries or clearly is, um, you know, there's no healthy boundaries here that have been set up and someone I feel like may be trying to push the envelope here or is trying to overstep your overstep a boundaries here. The Seven of Wands is also asking you to defend your yourself, um, whether that means by you know putting up boundaries, by learning to say no more to people, or by you know uh, learning to defend your accomplishments, your opinions as well. But I feel like remain confident here in yourself and in your abilities, uh, and don't let anyone try and knock you down. Now with the Five of Swords here. It's very important to walk away because sometimes, you know, you could be fighting a losing battle here. So your next move, um, it doesn't have to mean that, you know, you go into war and then you, sometimes I feel like the message I'm getting here is you have to pick your battles and some battles are just not worth fighting. Because I feel like the greatest loss that's um, that happens here with the Five of Swords is this guy here, you know. Yeah, the other two walk away with slouched shoulders, but I feel like, you know, what does he stand to lose? He's just lost all his friends. So I feel like if there is something, for some of you, there's some sort of conflict, there's some sort of tension that um, I don't feel like you've you created, but I see very much that you're a part of it or you've somehow been entangled. Um, it's very important for you to decide whether or not you want to fight this battle because you could lose a lot more than what you think you may. You could lose... Um, this connection, you could lose a romantic energy, or you could lose a friend here, because I feel like there's a lot on the line, and I just don't know if it's worth, um, you know, we, we just earlier we, we spoke about the need to defend yourself, but sometimes there's a cost here, and I'm not sure if the cost here um, is worth fighting for, because I feel like there's a lot on the line here for some of you, so pick your battles here. Your next move should be to... Um, Study your opponent and pick your battles here because some battles I don't feel like are worth fighting for, whilst others, you know, they definitely need to be challenged. Now, with the lover's card, this is a very strong romantic energy here, very strong romantic energy. And I'm seeing that there's a need for you to open yourself up to someone or something here and put yourself in the way of love. I feel like there's a magic here around you and the universe here is wanting to line you up with certain people, places or things that I feel like are in alignment with yourself so allow for that to happen don't block your blessings here do not close yourself off the lovers card is um the message that i'm getting here is start um saying yes to more opportunities start opening up yourself more i'm also seeing there's a need for you to be very honest let someone see who you truly are um let them see you for who you really are there's a need for you to be very transparent raw um honest with someone here because I feel like this will draw the two of you closer together so your next move should be here um, you know for you here to open yourself up to someone or something here because I'm seeing in turn what's going to happen is this going to this is going to draw your energies here closer together it's going to bind them perhaps for a very long time to come Okay guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages throughout the week, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.